Hey, uh, Fury Jim, do you have uh, the measurements for the bumper to put on the wings? I prefer not to go by measurements. In the past, I've made maps for people that I've sent, you know, paper templates to set on the bumper. But because of variations in bumpers um, after they've been repaired uh, during the chrome plating process, it always seems that no matter how some folks had laid out the maps, they were never that correct. So my preferred method is to take your bumper wing that you plan to use on your car and using the bumper that they'll be installed on and mark your holes using this process. So if you look inside the wing, you have this keyhole that the carriage bolt sits in and the factory carriage bolt is locked in and then there was um, basically like a spring steel retainer that held it in place so it didn't fall out while you're doing the install. But what I do is I take a piece of wide masking tape and set it over the bolt opening. Now you have a closed platform and you can see the square. Then you can take anything like duct seal, which is this, plumber's putty, or butyl seal that you'd use around uh, windows or on campers and set this little putty ball dead center of where the carriage bolt would be installed in the wing. And I make it into a little point like that, about a half inch tall to take up the space. Um, there are sometimes gaps between that inner bracket and the bumper that the factory would have shimmed using either washers or body shims. So that basically compensates for any variations you might encounter when setting the wing on the car. Another thing to note is to remove the outer carriage bolt from your bumper that connects it to the valance bracket. You wanna have that open to help sit the wing on as accurately as possible. So now that you have your putty established in the location of the bolt, you'll want to approach the car with the wing and be sure to align the carriage bolt opening of the wing with the bumper. So I like to kind of set them on there and know that it's aligned. And then you just bring the wing on and push it into place. So that's the install position of the wing on the bumper. When you remove it, the putty stays behind. And you can see the square of the carriage bolt. So when you remove that, you will see the mark of the putty, but to make it even more accurate, what I like to do is run a piece of masking tape below, above, and on both sides, and draw your crosshairs for the centers of the square. So when you remove it, you can connect the lines, and then you have your crosshair dead center of where your bolt needs to be drilled. Now we're dealing with a half inch carriage bolt here, so I like to drill a 5 8 hole to give you that additional level of uh, adjustment when fitting the wing on your bumper. So that'll be the dead center of your uh, hole, and that's the most accurate way to mark it. You know, using the wing that you're gonna install on the bumper that's installed on the car. And this applies to all four current corners of the car, whether front or rear. The rear wings are attached the same way. They have the same key hold carriage bolt uh, internal bracket. And uh, at that point, you'll have wings on your car and they'll sit as nice as they possibly could. All right. Thank you, Fury Jim. Hey, if you learned anything in this video, please feel free to donate to jrawa at aol.com via PayPal friends and family. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.